This was going to be a video about Drone Week and some of our jobs we're doing at the moment. But as you can see, it is pouring rain. So I think we'll have to do some rescheduling of our jobs today. Instead, I might head over to Halls Gap. We have some jobs there we have to do with the Google Street View and Google Earth. So I'll bring you along for that. And that's all you need to do with 360 cameras and just some normal DSLR cameras and some hiking. But if the weather does clear up, I'll bring you along for the drone shoot. Sorry about that. So I'm at Hall's Gap at the moment, heading to a campsite called Bagaiga. I'm going to grab some 360 photos for Google Earth and Street View. It is so cold. I think it's about zero, maybe one or two degrees. I've got the full hiking pack with all the safety gear, warm clothes, food. It's about a one kilometre hike in and yeah, I'll let you know when I start setting up. So I'm just going to set up a 360 camera, uh, Insta360 X2, uh, grab some HDR photos, stitch them together into a full 360, and then you'll be able to see that on Google Earth or Google Street View. Setting up a 360 camera is pretty standard on an Insta360 selfie stick. I've added some legs to it so it doesn't fall. I then use the Insta360 mobile app to control my shot at settings and then hide while the camera does its thing. Lots of wombat poop. Some big wombats around here. If you ever hike the Grand Pins Peaks Trail, this is one of the spots you will camp at and it's a beautiful sight to stay the night. You do have to book at peak times. It can be hard to get a spot with all the other hikers. I've stayed here a few times and you can tell the weather is always changing here. So be prepared. I ended up taking a few more 360 photos and then checking out this campsite before starting the walk back to the car. In extremely bad weather, this is one of the spots you don't want to be at. Finished that job. I'm pretty sure the customer's going to be pretty happy with that. About two gigabytes of data, HDR images stitched, and it'll be a full 360 image for Google Street View and Google Earth. I'll put a link in probably in the description or in this video somewhere so you can go have a look at it for yourself. But now head to the next job. I have about eight of these different jobs in different waterfalls. I just got a hike in. Some of the areas are really difficult to get to. Uh, this one was about a hour and five minute hike in. The next one's about three hours and it just takes a lot of time and effort to get to those locations. <laughs> Uh, Lake Belfield at the moment. It is so, so cold at the moment. Probably about zero degrees. I've got the 360 camera going there. I think it's going to fall, so I'm going to go check on it. So this is doing a 360 time lapse. I'll stitch this in Premiere Pro or the Insta360 app. And this is what it looks like after about 15 minutes of raw photos. This is Lake Belfield, absolutely stunning location, right in Halls Gap. Lots of walks here, you can even do the damn wall walk and it's kid friendly. There's a caravan park close by and in warmer months you can swim, kayak and fish here. I could spend a lot of time here but I can't as I'm off to Silver Band Falls for more photos and video for Google Street View. No drones. The common question I get asked is, can you fly your drone at a national park, local park, state park, federal parks, wherever? And the short answer to that is no. You're not in Victoria, and this rule is different to different states. In Victoria, you're not permitted to fly a drone in any park that's managed by Parks Victoria, unless you have a permit or permissions from them. And the only way to do that is through their website. 
but they will need a REOC, a remote operator certificate and insurance in order to give you permissions and permits to fly in a national park. I'm at Silver Band Falls, I think the 33rd, and I've actually flown a drone here. I actually flew it for Grampians Tourism for a, a TV commercial. And yes, they gave me full permits, permissions, had to do the usual JSA and risk assessment and a lot of paperwork, but yeah, it can be done. You can fly legally in a national park with permits. But today we're not flying drones here. Instead, we're taking some photos with the 360 camera for Google Earth and Street View. Hopefully there's some water over the waterfall. It has been raining overnight. So for this shoot, I'm doing the same by setting up the Insta360 camera on a selfie stick, then using the mobile app to take photos. Because of the running water, I'm bracketing the HDR photos, shooting in RAW and manual settings to get the best possible photo with the current lighting I have. I then review the photos and repeat the process. Such a beautiful waterfall and easy hike in, so I spent some time here grabbing some images and exploring the area. Lots of water at the moment flowing off the waterfall and into the creeks and surprisingly lots of animals around with kangaroos, wallabies and even deer. I ended up hiking around here for another 30 minutes and decided to call it a night by staying over at Halls Gap in a motel to continue tomorrow morning. Next morning, I woke up at 6am just so I can go to Baraka Lookout for sunrise. Again, it was cold, wet and miserable, but it was well worth my time and effort. Baraka Lookout is only 15 kilometres from Halls Gap to the car park. There's two viewing platforms and you get panoramic views of Halls Gap, Lake Belfield and the lakes below. You also get beautiful views of Wonderland and Mount William mountain ranges. The views were just stunning. I ended up taking some time lapses here for another project that I needed to complete and it worked out well. My time lapse settings were two second interval, custom white balance, manual settings. This is what it looks like. I then headed back to Halls Gap for a big breakfast and to regroup with some friends on another hike. I didn't do much filming on the hike to the pinnacles on the Wonderland Loop. Enjoy this montage of my cooking skills and making my famous hiking breakfast. I think this is my last job. I'm at Borough Huts at Halls Gap. Uh, I've stayed here a couple of nights from the Grampians Peaks Trail. So I'm just going to walk up here, grab some 360 video as well as some 360 photos for Google Earth. It's been a tough day today. 
uh, a lot of hiking, a lot of uphills, lessons learned. I probably need to work on my fitness, carrying all the gear and all that up a mountain. It's a lot of work. So I'm going to take you down to the river, get some photos, and we'll go from there. I had beautiful conditions for this project. Ended up taking almost two gigabytes of photos and videos. For the 360 photos, I used an Insta360 setting called PureShot. This setting makes it so easy to take bracketed photos and it automatically compiles it in the camera. I have found this setting works well in daylight, where the sun perfectly lights up the surrounding area. Lots of beautiful walks and hikes start from this campsite, including the hike to Mount Frazier if you are starting from Barra Huts. It's winter here in Victoria, Australia, and the rivers and creeks are flowing, and it's one of those times the bush and surrounding areas look stunning. I hope you found this video useful, especially if you're interested in grabbing 360 photos for your customers. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. See you on the next video.